This is one of the more spectacular landscapes in Alberta. These are the Badlands. We're in Dinosaur Provincial Park. And we're surrounded by these really wild and strange, otherworldly sandstone sculptures, hoodoos that stick straight up out of the ground, these amazing rivulets and cones and canyons, all carved from wind and water into the ground. Well, that one there is a rib that you're just, you were just touching. This is a rib bone. Here is a limb bone. We're in prime dinosaur habitat here. Dinosaurs lived here from 75 to 77 million years ago. This was a coastal plain with lots of rivers that were coming down from the newly formed Rocky Mountains. And back then, the Rocky Mountains were twice as high as the Himalayas are today. So huge mountains. And the rivers carried down all of this sand and sediment and dropped it here, creating these sandstone beds that trap the animal bones, the dinosaurs, and preserve them to this day. And now with erosion, it just carves right through the rock. It exposes a lot of the dinosaur bones. Well, right now we're gently excavating around the jacket of this uh, Ceratopsian uh, Centrosaurus? Yeah. Radius. Yeah. And so the paleontologists have already come and they've, they've wrapped the top of the bone in plaster to protect it. And then we're gonna work around it and free it up a bit so that they can take this out and bring it back to the lab and then very carefully and cautiously remove all of this material. That's how they preserve it. I think a lot of times we go to a museum and we see the dinosaur skeletons all put together and we think people find them that way, but actually dinosaur bones are extremely fragile and it takes a lot of very cautious and meticulous work to remove them from the ground. One, two, three. three. Wow. This is Centrosaurus, and this is the dinosaur that I was lucky enough to be digging up yesterday in Dinosaur Provincial Park. It's a lot of the bones there belong to Centrosaurus, and this is part of the Ceratopsian family. You can see it's similar to Triceratops, but only one horn, but that big bony shield coming off the top of his head.